welcome back to my channel. So today I am filming a video. It's kind of an application video. I can't really even call this like a wear test video because I just wanted to film me applying the Anastasia foundation. So I've had this for a while. I've only worn it once before. It wasn't really a first impression, but it wasn't like the greatest first impression because I don't feel like I was focusing on putting the foundation on and I felt like it went on kind of patchy and I didn't feel like it was as long lasting as I was hoping for it to be. Not that this claims to be long lasting, but usually if I'm gonna wear a foundation to work, I want it to last all day and some of my days are so long where I don't get home till like 10, 11 at night and it's nice when my foundation has stayed put. So um, just like telling you guys what I need from a foundation. So yeah, I was really curious to pick this up because it is their luminous foundation and they came out with a loose powder. This loose powder is humongous. Like look at the size of it in, in like reference to my head. Like it's huge. So like I don't need to buy another loose powder to save my life. Like I don't need it. I don't need it. But also like I've noticed that I am not as like generous with the powder like I'm very like just a little bit little bit so that's why I probably never get through anything because I'm like a little nimble fairy when it comes to my makeup I don't like to go like nuts with digging into the pan and stuff like that so it's kind of funny but anyway so I've been dying to try this foundation out how much is it I think it's like in the $30 range I actually picked it up on Ulta and I believe I used points so I was pretty proud of myself for, you know, saving some monies. It's $38 and they came out with 50 colors. Also, just to tell you a little bit about the foundation, it is a luminous foundation by Anastasia Beverly Hills. It is water resistant liquid foundation that creates a luminous natural finish. The radiant formula delivers long wearing medium coverage yet still feels so lightweight and looks ultra fresh. This is the coverage you have been waiting for. Luminous foundation looks so great on its own. There's no need to step with a powder. Available in many completely natural shades. Luminous foundation blurs any imperfections including discoloration and unevenness without caking or masking the skin's natural radiance. With a seamless application, this easy to blend formula leaves the skin with a perfected looking complexion that is free of flashback or oxidization. A whole list of like things that it does. So it's like water resistant, it's cruelty free, vegan, five shade categories, formulated without glutens, parabens, alcohols, oils, air, like it's just like a whole crazy thing. So anyway, Let's get into the application and then once I'm done, I'll come back and tell you how I feel about this foundation. Okay guys, so I'm in the midst of filming a different video, which is this like eye look and I'm like doing a look with this palette for a like a palette review, but I also wanted to film simultaneously a foundation video. So I have worn this foundation once already. This is the new ABH. Luminous foundation. I was so excited when they announced this because who doesn't love like a luminous foundation? Actually, I prefer to add The luminous look because typically for me luminous foundations I feel like don't last as long as a matte foundation So I would rather go matte have it stay on my face all day and then add highlighter But I was excited to try this and I got the shade 410 C and it has a 12 month shelf life and is cruelty free And this is one fluid ounce So I was excited and the cool thing with this this product is ABH launched it on Ulta the same time as they did um, Just in gen like just their own site launch which made me so happy because usually ABH like with the Jackie Aina palette which launched what like a week after the foundation um it launched on ABH first and then it launched on like Sephora and Ulta like a week or two later um and I refused to pay <laughs> I refused to pay ABH shipping for a palette that I could then get without shipping and like free shipping and sometimes even on sale if I just waited. So that's what I did. I waited and I got so lucky because Sephora decided they were going to have a summer bonus event. So you best believe that for this bonus event, the Jackie Ina palette is in my basket. It's ready to go. I'm just like praying it doesn't sell out. And I have a few other things in my Sephora basket. Not too crazy. 
I think my total right now before the 20% is at about, it's like under $300. I have the Jackie Ina palette in there and the Peach Fizz highlighter because I'm just like obsessed with peachy things. Um, I'm just going on an extra layer here because I want it to be like pretty good coverage. Um, and I feel like the, the first time I wore this, I don't think I put enough time into like sitting here and pouncing this into my skin. So, um, anyway, so I have the new highlighter in my basket for the Sephora sale and I have, what else did I want? I've been like eyeing some things. Uh, I don't remember. Oh, the Pat McGrath eyeliner because I want to replace my felt tip liner from Pat McGrath, which by the way, like her eyeliners, pencil and felt liners, or just like she only has black, um, is like the unsung heroes of the Pat McGrath collection. Um, they're so good and nobody talks about them. So I just thought I'd mention that to you guys. And then for concealer, I'm just going to use this Age Rewind concealer. I've been using this a lot. I really, I know people think this sponge tip applicator is like unsanitary, but oh my god, I love it so much because it's like, it's like a little sponge. Like it's so nice and it like applies stuff so easily. So that makes me happy. And uh, I'm using the Sonia Kashuk sponge in case you guys are really new to YouTube. This is a really good sponge and you can buy it at Target in like a set of two or like 10 bucks. So just so you guys know. And it's nice and big so you don't have to like put in as much work. Sometimes if your sponge is bigger, then you can do like a little bit less pouncing around. Whereas if you have a smaller sponge, you're gonna do a lot more of this <laughs> vigorously. So I like it, I like it a lot. And I did buy their powder because I'm a savage. This thing is freaking huge. Like I compared this to the Pat McGrath foundation and that container is so tiny. So I bought the shade Banana. 12 month shelf life and we have 25 grams or 0 0.9 ounces of product. It's a very standard um, packaging. So what I like to do is I take this like big powder brush. <laughs> I don't know if this is how you should be doing these things. And I just turn it over so there's a little bit of powder and then I just use it to set my under eye and my face too a little bit. I don't know with like luminous foundations like you probably don't want to use a ton of powder um but i don't know i like to set my f like under eyes for sure because like come on I, I like having a light under eye um and i like this powder i you know i'm not very sensitive to stuff i know people have like cornstarch allergies and all kinds of stuff so i'm not very sensitive to that kind of stuff and honestly i'm not very educated on that kind of thing so i can't really speak to like what is what but yeah i just really like this shade for me like i said i got the shade 410c um because i feel like i'm more of a cool tone human and this is how it wears um it's pretty flawless i did wear it to work one day i didn't think it was as long wearing as like the pat mcgrath foundation i've been trying out and the urban decay the new naked skin foundation is also really good um so yeah there's a lot of good new product out there and i like this one um i would say if you don't want to buy every new foundation definitely just do samples and see which one works for you but um yeah this is how it wore so i'm gonna finish up my makeup and i will be right back so you guys here is obviously what the foundation looks like i've been wearing this for a few minutes now now i did try this out on a previous day and i will definitely leave a pin comment with my thoughts on how this wore throughout the day um just to see how long lasting it was and things like that i think that's very important when it comes to picking out a foundation depending on your lifestyle like i had mentioned at the beginning of this video i have typically pretty long days i don't usually take my makeup off until i'm about to shower before i go to bed so that's around 9 10 o'clock sometimes and so that's like the true, true test is when i'm cleaning off my face if there's still foundation on there then i know we're good to go so so far, I like this guy. It's lightweight. It dries down pretty well. It doesn't feel sticky or anything like that. So that's awesome because I hate like sticky, dewy shit on my face. Like I want my foundation to 
and just like stay put. So, um, so far I'm excited about this. I have also tried the Pat McGrath foundation as well as the Naked Skin foundation I think that they came out with. I do want to film a video with that. I wore that um, one full day at work and I was on my Instagram like freaking out because I really, really liked how my makeup looks. I was really impressed with that one. If I had to rank, I think Naked Skin first, Pat McGrath second, and then Anastasia is third because I haven't really played with this one enough, so it might change. Once I wear this a few more times, it may rise up to number one. So I will keep you guys posted. And of course you will see this in future videos. Even if I don't show the application process, I will probably mention that I'm wearing the foundation just because it is so new. And I think it's so important to hear about how you know, a product performed after a few times using it because it's so easy to come on here and give a first impressions video, but it's more about did it stand the test of time? Am I reaching for it over my other foundations? I think that's kind of what everyone really wants to know for people that are like making everyday makeup purchase decisions versus like me on YouTube, like buying everything that's shiny. <laughs> so anyway, I hope this video was at least a little bit helpful. Let me know, have you picked up this foundation? Are you planning on trying it or are you completely un uninterested? I would love to hear your thoughts and I will catch you guys in my next video soon. Bye!